Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. I want to share a little bit of code with you that solves a very real problem of how to generate a slideshow from a CSV file. Here is an example of the output where I have taken a directory of images and then with the help of reveal.js, the help of reveal.js and Horst Jens, who is a very skilled programmer, created code that will allow us to take a spreadsheet of data. Here's the spreadsheet. Take a spreadsheet of data and a directory of files and create a presentation. And I want to show you the code for that. And here it is. So uh, this is Python 3. Here are the resources reveal JS. And here is Horst's web page. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see that. And effectively, the um, there's only a couple of libraries or modules that you need, CSV, Sys, and text wrap. Here is the database location. And here is the HTML to build the uh, to build the slideshow. This is uh, Reveal JS here, and we go down into the details. And we're using uh, we're using <coughs> curly braces in the code to tell Python where to place the data into the HTML. And we use a, a function here to uh, wrap the text so that it will stay in a particular location. In this case, we use 30. And this opens the CSV table, uh, which is already declared at the database way up at the top. If you remember that, this is the database constant right there. And we go down, and here is where the database gets opened up as a CSV file, and the data gets populated row by row. In this case, you can see all of the rows. We only use the function once uh, that wraps the text or split text, as you remember right here. This wraps the text in the box so that it doesn't roll so it doesn't extend too far over. And then we uh, print out to the command line what has what's going on and we'll go ahead and give this a new file name a and we'll go ahead and run it right here in VS code which I'm using VS code 1602 and F5 to run it. And we should be able to see it, LS down here. And there is our file right there, a horse. And we go ahead with Firefox. And that should work. And it does. Yes. OK, so <clears throat> you can see that the text gets wrapped down here. And we have unique slides on every slide here, unique images. And the it looks pretty good. And so what, uh, how did I get all of these images into the spreadsheet? This is something that I'm quite, quite pleased with. You should know I'm using LibreOffice, I don't know which one, 7.2. 7 and look at the file names here, file colon triple slash. Now this is specific to the Linux operating system. So what I did is actually quite easy. I took, uh, I opened up my target file, target directory, and <clears throat> control a control c 
And then I went back to LibreOffice. We'll delete all of those. And then I pasted all of the file names, just like that. And I don't want that those first two lines. I want just this one and this one. I copied it, went back to my target file, which is right here, and then I pasted. Now, uh, you saw that there was a change. I'm going to save anyway, and we should be good to go. So I'm going to run the uh, script again. Let's give it a new name. I'm going to give it A. Uh, we'll, get, we'll say B. <clears throat> save that. Should we save it? I'm going to close this. Don't need that. And let's go ahead and clear this down here. And run the script. F5. And B, so Firefox, B, Forest, and Run, and we are good to go again. So even with the full file type or file name, as you see here, it works just fine, which speeds up the whole process. So... <clears throat> Here's the code. I will include the code in uh, in a gist. And uh, in order to get it to run, you need to remember that you need to have <clears throat> the entire reveal JS uh, information, the dist distribution and plugin, and the HTML file in order for it to work. That covers it. And a big thanks out to Horst for all of his help and Reveal JS uh, for the uh, for the for the core of the for the libraries. But it it really was uh, Horst's clever engineering that made this CSV to help turn this CSV. turned this CSV into presentation. Thank you for watching and happy computing.